Hi, my name is Joshua. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to create a custom payload theme. In the end, it might look like something like this, but it can also look however you would like. Also, we're going to talk about which classes to use to modify all of these individual elements from the headline here to the panel to the nav bar and so on. Now we are starting out with a standard payload project. If you already did the tutorial about the custom nav bar, this basically continues with the same base or this starts with the same base as that project. But in general, this approach should work with any payload version or any payload project at the moment. Now, what option does payload give us to configure a custom theme? First, we have, we are now here in the payload config, we have the option to pass a custom CSS theme, a custom CSS style sheet, which is empty at the moment and which leads to a very standard boring interface. Let's change it to light mode. Nothing special here, just simply plain. Now, if you go on the documentation, payload tells you that they have this colors.scss class and this app.scss class, and you can actually override all of these colors, but it's very cumbersome. And you also can override these variables. But what this does not cover is which, which classes are also useful to us to override. So the easiest way I came up with to style a payload project is to basically build a theme generator. And that is what I did. So if you want to follow along, go to 10xmedia.de slash theme and you arrive at this page. On the left hand side, you have all the options and this starts out with a color scheme picker. You can, let me move this out of the way, choose a base color. Like this is, oh, this is going to generate a CSS file that you can simply copy paste at the end and you can pretty much edit, edit everything on here. It's not a comprehensive list of classes, but we're gonna come to this. So I would be very grateful for your help if you need to edit something on, or if you want to edit something on the payload or in the payload styles that is not currently covered by this theme editor, please drop a comment or an email and we will add it. So at first we want to choose a base color. This automatically sets this one, but I want a more friendly blue. Then the success color and warning colors are okay. You can also preview different or preview your theme on different parts of the payload in your payload backend. For example, we also have this miscellaneous where we have the toasts. What we're also adding is an accent color. Payload internally handles dark and light themes in the way that when you have a dark theme set, which you can also oh, try out here, that payload then inverts your color scheme. And this accent color is an additional color that is inverted when you activate dark mode. So in this case, I want to set it to something more like fuchsia colored and we can work with this later on because also all of these colors have their own environment variable or CSS variable that we can use later on in styling individual elements. Also, you can style individual colors if you're not happy with a hue or shade, simply change it a little bit and it's gonna appear in the theme. Next, we come to the element classes. Now you have the option to style individual elements. Starting from the navigation, now let's say I want the navigation to have a different background color. You can go into navigation, nav, and here you have the CSS variables that are uh, the CSS attributes that are useful to you in this case. And you see also you can select here your CSS variables and in this case it's theme elevation 100. This is basically our base color with the inverted option. So this color gets inverted from 100 to 900 if we switch to dark mode. And now let's say I don't want it to be 100 anymore, I want it to be 150. So this is going to get a little bit darker. But okay, this is not so nice. We can also change the color of the text, which in this case I would like to be darker. Oh, it's already the darkest. Well, let's actually set it to the accent color like this and it gets a little bit fuchsia colored. 
then I want, for example, to change this button because I don't like it that it's square. I want it to be round. What I'm going to do here is to adjust the border radius, set it to percent and to 50. And it's a round button now. Now you can jump around in these options. As I said, these are not exhaustive. There might be stuff, might be classes missing that would be useful to add. So please just drop a message, a comment or an email and I will add them. Also in the dashboard, we can change a lot. For example, we want to change these titles to a different font. So we go into the dashboard card labels and change this font for, uh, family to Georgia. So we have this kind of font. Oh no, let's change it to impact. And then we also want to add a border radius to these cards because they don't have. And we do this by going into card dashboard card and add a border radius. Now, in the end, we get the CSS variables. This is a selection I found the muse most useful to actually set when we added the CSS. We have the theme background, which is the general background color of your application. You can either set it manually or we're going to choose it from our colors. I sometimes found it interesting to actually set it to theme elevation one, because then you also get this colored in and it looks like this now. And for the text, you can here also change all the text on payload. This might also be fun to change to an accent color. Now all the text is a little bit red and so on. But I think you get it. At the end, if you're happy with your payload theme, you're going to, you can look through all the different options and then you can go to the generated CSS panel and simply copy the CSS. Oops. You paste it into your style sheet. And if we go back here, then this theme is applied and you're ready to go. Now, that was it for how to create a custom payload theme. I hope this was helpful to you. You will find the link to the tool in the description. See you the next time.